Okay, I'm recording now, okay? So, I've just reset the BIOS to default settings. So, no XMP profile, no nothing, nada. Right, so right now, I'm hoping it posts. But, I'll be deadly honest, I don't think it will. Not straight off the bat anyway. We'll see. So, we've got a VGA error. And no post, yeah. So, but this is this is so this is definitely definitely uh, default settings because what I have to do. Oh, okay, we got post. Thank God for that. Nice. Okay. Uh, so, yep. Yeah, so that's just telling me that we're, we're low default values. Boom, 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 boom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna instead of hitting F2 because I know what's gonna happen if I hit F2, it's not gonna post again. So if I hit F1, take me to BIOS, so we can see um, that everything is auto. Yeah, so no no RAM profiles, no nothing. Yeah, nothing's changed. Uh, PCI substance set to auto, and I'm literally just gonna hit what's uh what's the default button to load default changes just to make sure. Uh, let's go back here. Uh, where is default? Uh, restore to defaults. There we go. So load optimize defaults. Boom. F10 save. So here we go. So now we're on default settings. Okay, so right now we've got, um, so now obviously this should have posted a lot faster than this, yeah? So this is taking way too longer than what it should to post. So we're stuck on VJ error, yeah? So that, now you see that, yeah? So it posted, loaded defaults, and now it's not posted, okay? So I have to do this video, right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, this is how I've managed to get it post. This is how I've managed, what I've had to do is I've had to take the HDMI cable out and plug it back in. To hopefully get it to post nothing we're getting nothing right now now bearing in mind i've just cleared the cmos loaded up the default values yeah so i've got to unplug it so this is what i've had to figure out so plug it back in so i've got display port and hdmi here so i've got two monitors okay so there we go see that's done that okay now this problem still happens yeah so when i turn it off it will do the same thing again i have to unplug the hdmi I have to plug it back in, but the fix is, is literally just doing this. Boom, boom, boom. Gen 2, F10, save. Oh, almost fell off the chair. Voila, posted straight away. Sorry if my hands are a bit shaky, but. So now what I'm going to do is, we're going to actually let it post into Windows, and then uh, I'm going to load up the uh, RAM XMP. I can use it for now, but I need like some dogs, okay? Give me some dogs. So whatever it's doing now, I don't know. So, But obviously, the most important thing here to me is, is that it's posting. Yeah, so I'm able to change the settings, but obviously this will this will load into Windows now. That was probably just sorting out the RAM times and stuff like that, maybe. Who knows? Because it's all on auto. God knows what this board is doing right now. I feel like I have to do this video. I feel like I feel like writing is not enough, you know? So here we go, we're posted. So we can load up CPU-Z so we can see uh, what what the actual CPU is doing, what the memory is doing, and then we'll see what the GPU is. Obviously, we know we know we've managed to set it to PCI uh, two mode. This is awesome. um, uh, where's GPU-Z download? Oh, close that. Close that. So okay, so CPU is obviously doing what it should be doing. Uh, GPU is currently running Gen two mode, obviously because it don't work in Gen three. Um, it messes it up. Like it won't even post. Um, and when it when when I uh, tried the bias that you give, give gave me, um, if it it posted every single time, but the system was so unresponsive, um, it was unbearable. 
you know, like you wouldn't even get to windows. It would just start, start, start. It was really, really bad, really bad. So in the end, I just went back to this previous BIOS, which if we go to, uh, if we write in here, oh, we can see it in BIOS anyway, because we're gonna go back into the BIOS anyway. Right, so, um, yeah, so memory, obviously that's what we're running at right now. Uh, so 2133, so we're gonna reset, load XMP, um yeah and that's and that's pretty much it until you know there's some sort of bias update that resolves that you know because obviously right now obviously i need to set the ram ram xmp as well so look post straight away like wow so, i mean i've tried to keep this video as, as short as possible but i mean i'm only limited to the speed of the system so we don't need to touch that because I know that's fine uh, we just want to set XMP XMP enabled uh, F10 save let's see what happens uh, so obviously we'll go back here I'm going to have a toilet daddy because I want one you want to go we'll go toilet then go on I have one I want a toilet are you making a, you're making a toilet on Minecraft yeah I'm trying to oh okay that's clever that's clever. Okay, so this this would be this would be it now. I'm gonna check in, make sure XMP is loaded. Um, yeah, and I'll leave it leave it to you guys. You know, at least at least I've kind of pointed you guys into the right direction. I I I, I imagine that I have. So just to confirm the memory speed, CPZ. Uh, so let's go to memory. So yeah, even the uh, even the Northridge frequency is running at the right speed as well. 1800. 18, 18, I mean, that should be that should be 17, but it's done it to 18 for some unknown reason. But yeah, it, it, like, even the command rate should be two, it's one. But I'm fine with that, because that's kind of like a little bit of an overclock anyway, but. Uh, yeah, I mean, as you see, it works. And uh, see you later.